Hey adventurers, welcome back. It's Christy here and today I'm going to talk to you about why we chose generational living for our family. So stick around and let's get into it. Why in the heck do we want to do generational living? Well, there's a couple of reasons, so let's get into it. If you have multiple families living on one property, what happens is you save a lot of money. You don't have to all have your own house and your own property. If you have a house where you have multiple generations or multiple families living together, you can save those expenses, you can share the expense of your rent, mortgage, share the expense of the utilities. We've tried for years and years and years to get someone in our family to come and do generational living with us. And finally, um, my parents have decided that that's something that they want to do and they're moving in with us and we cannot wait. We're so excited to just be able to take care of them and be with them. and. Um, love on them and share with them all the stuff that we're gonna uh, embark in this homesteading journey. Another perk is just sharing life burdens. Stuff happens, illnesses, injuries, loss of job. When you have people with you who are sharing in those burdens with you, it takes, it lessens the load. It takes the pressure off. Having a, a community um, to, to just, you know, help shoulder those problems is hugely helpful as you're trying to process through them. And so just sharing in burdens of life, but not just for you, you being there to help someone else through their burden, to help them um, process their own problems is something that's great for both of you. Getting to be someone who cares for someone and helping them is wonderful. And that's what God calls us all to do. So that's a wonderful benefit of having other people, family members live with you. We have got this really weird sense of living here in the United States, which I don't understand. Not everyone is like this. You don't grow up and then leave your parents or your kids don't get to be 18, 19, kick them out of the house. That's not how a lot of cultures live. And so I don't, I don't know why we think it's so important to have our own space and we need so much of it and so much distance from each other. Distance is not a great thing. Um, now, if you have someone in your family who's toxic and it's not a good situation for you, I understand that. But I think that especially with your parents, it's important to have them with you and to share with their wisdom and to hear their thoughts. They're a wealth of knowledge and wisdom. So take advantage of that. That's a wonderful benefit for you. And missing out on it, that's a travesty. I worked at a nursing home in my early 20s for like six months. I was a CNA, a nursing assistant, and I um, worked in, in the lockdown dementia unit for uh, late stage Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease residents. And I can tell you something right now, nothing is more tragic than watching families drop off their elderly loved ones and then never come back to see them. You might say, oh, that doesn't happen. Yes, it does. The nursing home I worked for was a pretty expensive nursing home, top dollar, and I had residents who were in the very early stages of their dementia, and they were still pretty coherent, knew what was going on, drop, family dropped them off, and I worked there for over six months, and a couple of them never came back. And it touched my soul in such a way that I just, I, our parents are not disposable. Our grandparents are not disposable. These are wonderful gifts given to you in your life by God. We should take care of them until the end of their life and help them through that process. Dropping them off and just forgetting about them, thats i it makes me so sad. Um, now, granted, there are situ situations that arise where you can't help it. A nursing home is necessary, especially for dementia patients when they start getting farther down in their progression. It's a safety hazard to let them be walking around wandering in the neighborhood and these kind of things. So for that, I totally understand. But you can't just drop them off and forget about them. Uh, you have to be there with them. You have to help them. 
we're all going to come to the end of our life someday. We're all going to get to the end of that road. And it is my prayer and constant prayer that my beautiful children will be there, hold my hand when that happens. I can't think of a worse, worser fate than being alone in those final hours on this earth in a cold, sterile nursing home room or a hospital bed alone without a single familiar face or friendly touch uh, to be had. There's wisdom being passed down from our, our generations before us. And so if we're smart, we will take that wisdom as the treasure that it is and utilize it in our own lives. Um, stand on the back of the giants who were before us and um, really just enjoy all the things that they have to teach us. Another uh, benefit is teamwork makes the dream work, y'all. Uh, if you have more than one person working for a goal, you're gonna achieve that goal a whole lot faster. Every person has a different perspective, a different way of thinking. And so two, two minds are, are better than one, four minds are better than two. The more grown up minds and even kid minds sometimes, the more minds you have working on a problem is gonna make it so much easier to figure out that problem. When you can all kind of share your perspective and your thoughts, um, it's gonna help you come to a resolution a whole lot faster. And when you have four people or six people or eight people working toward a common goal, you're gonna get that goal accomplished way faster than you would if it was just you and your spouse. The other and point I would make about a benefit for a generational living is building a legacy together. It is our hope and dream that we can build this homestead up to a functioning farm homestead that's making money, that's at least self-sustaining, that our girls will be able to take over someday and have for their children or have for themselves. And so building a legacy together, I want my kids to say, my parents and grandparents built this cabin with their own hands. I remember when my parents and grandparents built this farm from with their bare hands. If I had my way and God said, you can have it any way you want, I would have my in-laws, all of them, my siblings, all of them. I would have everyone in my family come and live on this property with me. The more, the merrier for sure. me. Are there disagreements that are going to arise? Yeah, definitely. But we're family. We love each other. You can get over it. You can speak your peace, apologize, be grown up about it. There doesn't have to be fighting. There doesn't have to be inviting. That's that's not, I don't live uh, in a dramatic drama filled world. I don't like drama. I'm a grown up, so I prescribe to honesty. If I feel something, I'm just gonna say, hey, probably not my favorite way of doing that thing. Next time you do it, you do it this way. If you don't like that, you can tell me you don't like it. We'll talk about it. I'll process it. You process it. We move on. It doesn't have to be drama. There doesn't have to be jealousy. There doesn't have to be all these things that people want you to think happens when you live with the family. So I hope some people would consider doing generational living. I can tell you it's, a not, it's not an easy sell. There's like this weird, oh, I don't want to live with my parents kind of ordeal. Uh, it's not that. Generational living is not like you're some sort of loser and you can't afford to live on your own or you can't make it on your own. That's not what it is. Generational housing is learning to love your family, support each other, and build a legacy together. That's what it is. And so we've got to get past this weird mindset that um, living with your parents or your grandparents is like a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. It's a great thing. And wouldn't you rather have many years with your parents and grandparents before they're elderly and, you know, have health problems? Uh, wouldn't you rather do that? I would. I would rather have them around while they're younger and, and capable and able to do stuff and sharing great memories together. So anyway, I hope you think, general, uh, think about generational living. I hope you consider how that might impact your family. We're so excited to share our parents and um, with our children. I uh, want them to be around their family every day, uh, going through the hard parts of life, going through the great parts of life, just enjoying it all. And so I think there's a lot of benefits to that. Let's gain their knowledge and enjoy them while they're here. Thanks so much for watching today. God bless you all. I hope you enjoy these videos. I hope you have a fantastic day. And most of all, I hope you adventure on.